is it because I had, I had the only time I've ever had anything knee related mm-hmm. again, knock on wood. I've had really good history with my knees was in a very, very intoxicated mm-hmm. amateur <laughs> jujitsu <laughs> backyard <laughs> wrestling. I tore my LCL oh, like really? three quarters of the way. Wow. Okay. Are knees just m- magnets for jujitsu injuries? Is that just a really common place for that kind of thing to happen? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting because the takedown sequences that happen, obviously there's a lot of, uh, in order to gain leverage on somebody's legs, realistically, if you're taking them down by the legs, usually the knees or the ankles are going to be where you're grabbing or trying to manipulate. And in this particular case, flinging your entire body towards somebody's leg and accidentally landing on my knee that's kind of you know a no-brainer so it just isn't it's unfortunate for sure but i've learned a lot through the process and i think it it gives me an opportunity to kind of practice what i preach in a lot of ways in Mm -hmm. regards to training and being able to regress movements and progress them forward again and stuff like that so luckily to your point i don't have any knee issues i i generally think my knees are very healthy and very uh you know functional but in this particular case things happen so make the most out of it i do think that a lot of the work that i put in prior in regards to knee bulletproofing and whatnot set me up for a better outcome if there was one in this particular case you know with some of the things in regards to when i tore my best friend's acl i shot in on a double leg and literally just his foot got caught in the mat and i pulled with my hand Mm -hmm. and then that's when everything blew so in this case like to me much worse but he wasn't able to walk on it afterwards. Like he immediately collapsed. I actually was able to walk up my stairs by myself until I got stiff. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's a generally good sign. Um, maybe a partial tear in there and nothing fully torn. I'm, you're you're waiting on your MRI, MRI results yeah. today. Is that what? I'm hoping so. I, yeah. Like it's been a while. Yeah. So. <laughs> let us let <laughs> us know. know what happens because I'm curious. We'll do. What do you as far as I want to talk about what you're going to do now? But mm-hmm. as far as prehab and what you do you mentioned bulletproofing knees Mm -hmm. what do you do to minimize injury for that site and i say minimize because anyone involved in high intense activities like jujitsu like snowboarding anything like that you're almost never guaranteed elimination of injury it's just about it's almost guaranteed that it will happen Mm -hmm. in some form or another but doing certain things can minimize the outcome when those injuries happen what what do you see as that i I, yeah yeah. so it basically comes out to mitigating the the potential outcome of the injury like are you fully blown through and you can't stand up afterwards or are you able to at least pull yourself off and i think that's like and in past if i've had a knee pop it's been something where like i was freaked out that it would be worse and then like in three to four days i was back to full flexion again so Mm -hmm. i think it helps speed up recovery because your body has a very high reference to try to meet and match again Mm -hmm. and then in regards to just strengthening the joints and ligaments through a lot of those movements that we'll get into i think there is some justice to be served in that department which we talked about this last time the the argument between you know full range of motion and 90 degree training and trying mm-hmm. to find a middle ground between the two i think in regards to jujitsu it is very beneficial to train full range of motion and a majority of movements especially if you don't have any prior training just because of the fact that the positions that you get into are so unpredictable as mm-hmm. you see you know if yeah i mean if, that that's a perfect that, right. that couldn't be a per- better example you're in Even, so much flexion there that so, you i mean it literally uh-huh. tore but if you actually if you go back to the video the main thing that i reference there when i look at it is the the hip mobility that i've gained in recent months being able to basically be in a very extreme hurdler stretch yeah and when he when we come down at the very end when we land on the ground that's where my knee popped but let's say had I not had the hip mobility to even land like that, my knee would have taken the impact much sooner. If you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Yes. Like, yeah. So if I right didn't have the, there, mm-hmm. like, so right. I, yeah. If I didn't have the mobility to get my leg out that far, my knee would have taken the pressure much sooner, which could have been a complete blow through and, you know, whatever. You comes may, I mean, worst case scenario, you might've been looking at a replacement. I mean, yes. you could have had to do cadaver. That's what they told me. The next thing was they're like, yeah, you tore your LCL almost all the way if you tear this all the way you have to do a cadaver and that's like a that's like a year yeah rehab and recovery yeah terrible so my my i guess my last point in regards to this for anyone listening is you know the training there's nothing that's going to 100 percent keep away injury but there's ways to control how serious it is so in Mm -hmm. that case adding mobility may not directly make the joint or the ligament stronger, but it may give you like an extra half or a second to react, to move your body in such a way that naturally takes a little bit less pressure off the joint when put in that, that bad position. And to me, that's kind of what happened in that case. Just, I was able to buy myself an extra second to yeah. where the, the impact came like right at the very end versus like right in the middle. And, 
you know, I'm able to walk into the podcast room as opposed to being <laughs> wheelchaired <laughs> in. So, yeah. Touching in. Yeah. yeah. Making the problematic area a little bit less problematic. Mm -hmm.